I'm Joey from SVS Pasadena, but from now on you can call me Jojo. And this is Drawing with Jojo. So in this half hour series, uh, we're going to be uh, doing drawings. I'll be demonstrating how to draw various uh, animals. Uh, be one per episode. And for this uh, introductory episode, I thought it'd be nice to draw a tiger since this uh, happens to be on the Chinese uh, calendar, the year of the tiger. And uh, by coincidence, uh, the tiger was the uh, mascot for the high school I attended many, many years ago. Okay, so um, for those of you that are watching and wanting to participate, uh, what you'll need, uh, I'll show you in just a second. All right. Okay, so you're gonna obviously need a sheet of paper. I have here with me an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, or you can get a drawing pad. Um, you'll need a pencil, and just a regular number two pencil. And uh, I recommend uh, getting an eraser, um, because even though this pencil has its own eraser, it'll be uh, used up pretty quickly. So if you can get another eraser, it helps. Um, to preserve the life of that. You'll probably also need uh, a nice pencil sharpener. Uh, this one I'm gonna need to replace soon because it's not sharpening as well as it ought to. Uh, and then various uh, uh, color pencils because we're gonna be coloring them. So right now I just grabbed these three because these are gonna be the main colors we're gonna use when drawing and coloring the tiger in. Okay, all right, so to start, um, um, with the piece of sh with the piece of paper we're doing it the uh, long way this way which is uh, called landscape mode if it's in this mode oops hang on let me turn the camera up here see this way is portrait and uh, the vertical mode but this way is uh, landscape mode okay or uh, horizontal okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get a little Okay, so um, the one good thing about uh, doing this as a YouTube video is you can pause it and rewind it uh, as often as you like in case I happen to go a little fast for you because uh, this is something that uh, I usually do once a week with uh, the clients on Zoom for the Pasadena office. But um, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Get your pencils. And right now we're going to go ahead and start in... Uh, this side of the paper and right about here we're going to draw a circle about that big because what we're doing is we're just drawing some basic shapes to get the proportions of the uh, things that we're drawing in this case like i said it's going to be a tiger okay so we'll draw one kind of a circle there then we draw one that's a little bit bigger right about there and again, it doesn't have to be perfect because like, again, these are just uh, for the proportions. And we're going to do some erasing as needed. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and draw one more uh, kind of oval circle shape here. And it's a little bit smaller than the one we just drew. Okay, so about like that. Okay, so we start off with... Uh, three little circles there. And then the other thing we're going to do in this step is go ahead and draw a line down the middle of the first circle there and one going across like that. And what this is is where we'll provide our guidelines so we'll know where to draw the, uh, the, the eyes and the nose of the tiger in the next upcoming steps. All right, so that's step one. The next thing we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw right here on the head, which is going to be the head. We'll draw another oval shape there, which is going to end up being the, oops, the, the lower, the snout. Okay, and here, I'm going to draw a couple of shapes like this. Okay, and then one for the other side. These are obviously going to be ears at some point. All right, and the next step, we are going to 
Um, Okay, so we're going to refine some of those details on the, um, so let's go ahead and start here and let's actually make this more of a pointed ear. And uh, as I said earlier, we're going to do some erasing as well. So, I, so I'm drawing a little bit darker so you can see the difference with, uh, from the, where we do the proportion lines. Okay, and then we're going to draw part of the side of his face like that. Okay. Then we're going to draw a shape like this, which is going to be the, the, oops, the upper portion of his uh, mouth, or snout. Okay. All right, and then let's finish up with the lower jaw. All right. Uh, also in this step, we're going to go ahead and draw a line from here, which is going to be the bottom part of his neck. And then here, we're going to go ahead and draw the back part, kind of shaped like this, and down there, connecting to the that circular shape we drew earlier. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and draw a line continuing. This is going to be part of his back right about there okay uh, also going to go ahead and draw a line underneath here which is basically going to be the bottom of his stomach okay okay uh, let's see for the next step we're going to go ahead and draw a shape like this, which is going to end up being its uh, one of its legs. So this is just to get the proportion right, meaning the, the general size of the leg. Okay. <clears throat> then we're also going to draw a shape down here, which is going to be the paw, front paw. The shape just like that. Okay. All right. Also, in this step, we're going to go ahead and do the same for the back part, which is going to be the back leg. Okay. And again, you're drawing a shape that's about like that. And then we're also going to draw another part of its leg that's down here. Let's see. And then uh, it's going to end up being a, a foot. Okay. And this will make a lot more sense when you add, once we add more details. But again, these are just some of these are just basic shapes. Okay. All right. And in this next step, we're going to go ahead and draw uh, the line from there Oop. to the front paw. Okay, see so as you can see I'm drawing a little bit darker. Okay, and then I'll give them uh, a little, three different um, toes. Okay. Then let's go ahead and continue that up to there. Okay. And then we're gonna do the same for the back leg. So we're gonna draw a line. Like that, connecting to here, okay, and give him a couple toes over here, okay, okay, and we're continuing this up to there, okay, and uh, I think at this point. We'll go ahead and, oh, I'm sorry. There's another step here that I'm following. Okay. We're also going to draw a shape right here, which I believe is going to end up being his other leg that uh, is from the other side of his body. Okay. And then here, we're going to do 
another shape like we did from before but just going to end up being the other leg from the other side okay all right all righty next we are going to okay we're going to draw a line like this from that shape there and so that's going to be basically the leg from the other side but we're not going to see the whole thing because it's kind of hidden behind this leg here okay we're going to draw a shape like that all right and we're going to do the other same for the other side and just kind of draw what will be the other leg from that other side again let's draw a couple um toes okay just like that okay i think at this point it'd be a good idea to go ahead and um, erase some of these lines so i'm gonna go ahead and take uh let's see we don't need that We'll leave these lines for the face, uh, for the eyes and nose for right now. But right now I'm going to just uh, get rid of all these extra. Uh, let's see. There we go. Actually, I think I'm going to switch to my other eraser. Probably a little bit easier. So again, we're... Erasing the lines that we no longer need. Let me turn this this way, it's easier. Well, we're going to end up coloring this in eventually, so hopefully that'll uh, make it less obvious that we have those lines there. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on the face. So what we're going to do is right about here where that line is, that's going to be the, the top part of where the eye is. Okay. So that's that. And what I like to do is I'll we'll draw a dot there, and I'm going to leave a little circle there because it, it, it's going to, once we color this in, it's going to look like a highlight in the eye. All right, let's do the same for the other side. So the other eye shape. Okay. And draw the other part of the eye. Again, draw a dot for the uh, iris little circle there okay now let's go ahead and draw um, from this portion here we're going to go ahead and draw the shape of his nose snout and it's sort of like that okay Well, you know what we need to do also just occurred to me in the instructions here that i'm following we're going to draw a line back here which is going to represent the the tail a portion of the tail okay and the other thing we're going to do in this step is we're going to just draw a uh, like a line here just to show that the uh, the tiger is walking on the ground so it gives it uh, like a place that it actually occupies in space Let's draw another one down here. Okay. All right. So, uh, whoop. all right. So that's the the basic uh, uh, outline shape of it. So what we're gonna do is what I'm gonna do now. Actually, oh, you know what? 
I don't know why I forgot to do this part on this ear. Let's make that pointed also. All right. So now we can go ahead and erase some more of these lines. Okay. And what I'm going to do before I put in the stripes is I'm going to go ahead and uh, trace, retrace everything now with my black colored pencil. Okay. So I'm going to sharpen it a little bit more. So I'm just going to go over everything we've done so far. I'll go ahead and start with the eye. Okay. And as I said before, you can always pause this and rewind it since this is going to be on YouTube. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit more jaggedy down there. Make the mouth open. Okay. Okay, so we're also going to add some other details. And I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit more jaggedy on that side. Okay, let's do his other ear. Okay. Uh, okay. And as I, as I go down uh, tracing these lines, I'm making the lines a little bit jaggedy just to indicate that it's fur. Okay. Okay. And uh, you'll have to pardon me if I get a little out of frame sometimes because uh, I'm working on a, a desktop in an office as I do this. But hopefully you'll see enough of what's going on. Okay. Get those toes. And I'm going to do some more erasing as well. Okay, let's get on this side. And uh, I know uh, those of you watching have probably seen tigers before on TV or possibly at the zoo. And they are very magnificent animals. Okay, all right. Let's do that tail again, too. Okay. Let me chase the path that he's standing on. All right, just like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and erase a few more of these lines that we no longer need. Then we're going to color it in, add these stripes. So let's say we don't need those lines anymore. Okay, all right. So, what I think I'm going to do is Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my black uh, color pencil, sharpen it again. And I'm gonna start drawing some details in um, some of the patterns that you see on, on a tiger, his markings, his stripes. Okay, so I have some like that. Okay. Whiskers. Oops, sorry. Okay, because he is a cat after all. One of the feline. Okay, uh, okay, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and do a series of um, 
stripes. Oops. Okay. Okay. Just down, put them wherever you feel like. The tigers do have lots and lots of stripes. That's what makes them one of the most beautiful animals around. Now, um, obviously, I'm, I'm going a little fast in this drawing because, you know, we're limited to the amount of time that I can put. But, you know, uh, if, you're, if you're doing this, you can go ahead and, uh, and take as much as time as you need. Um, let's see. Let's do the tail section as well. Okay. Leg. leg okay and of course the front leg now, let's see oops I'm sorry I keep uh, getting off camera Okay, I think that'll do it for now in terms of, uh, let's add a couple more right here. All right. So that's the, the basic uh, uh, line drawing of the tiger. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, orange colored pencil. I'm going to start coloring them in. And we'll start up here. And, um, okay. body um, you want to leave the bottom portion of his uh, body white because that's what they have he has uh, white fur or they have white fur underneath there so just make sure you leave portion underneath that's white and uh, as I said earlier if your hands get tired, just go ahead and take a rest. This is an awful lot of coloring. But again, also take your time doing it. You know, even though I'm doing this really, really quick, you can take as much time as you need. Tell you what, I'm going to go and turn this this way but to color it makes it a little bit easier, I think. before usually I do this as a zoom with our clients here for 
Pasadena SVS and um, you know they, they do talking they ask me questions they say nice things too because uh, they enjoy watching me do, do the drawings and I do I enjoy drawing for them because they get to see the magic happening in real time okay so Again, I'm doing a really, really quick job, but as you, like I said, if you're doing this, you can take as much time as you need. Okay, so let's see, what else shall we get in this color? We'll go ahead and color, and color his eyes yellow. Okay, just a little like that. All right. Like I said, if you leave that little white spot, it makes it look uh, like a highlight on his eye. Let me put that in back in there okay I'm gonna retrace some of that um, let me go ahead and get um, for his snout um, I have a red pencil but I'm doing it lightly because it's it probably looks a little bit more pinkish okay maybe all right um and then last but not least what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a little bit of sh extra shading with uh with my uh, black uh, color pencil and what i'm going to do is just I'm gonna go over this area really lightly and what this is going to do hopefully is make the tiger look a little bit more three-dimensional okay like it's their shadow going underneath so Let's see what it is I'm doing. And go down here at the feet as well. Again, I'm just doing very lightly. Very lightly. Okay. Go ahead and turn it this way too so you can, you can see a little bit better. what I'm going to do also is I'm going to take my uh, uh, orange again and I'm going to go a little bit darker in certain areas so where I, I was coloring early I was just going real lightly but if you do this um, a little stronger see how it makes it look a little bit darker so that also helps to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional uh, okay Hopefully that uh, that shows up okay. Okay, and last but not least, oh, you know I probably should have done this before. It's a minor step. I should probably just color the ground that he's on. So I'm gonna just. Uh, that's the final step. So it makes it look like, he, like he's not floating in the air. All right. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, just a really uh, quick version of a tiger and again uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed watching me do this as I enjoyed uh, doing it for you and uh, go ahead and uh, pause and rewind as often as you like if you're trying to draw it I'm going to go ahead and sign this Jojo and that's it enjoy and uh, we'll see you on the next episode of drawing with Jojo Bye now.